Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this one I want to show you how to use the GameCube and Wii emulator right here on your Z Fold 3 or any Android device. This should work really. Um, I love the, how it looks on the Z Fold 3 with its big beautiful display. So these games are really going to pop since these consoles were out back when TVs were made at this screen ratio. So Let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up the app store and you're going to want to search for the dolphin emulator. It's right here. And this is exactly what it looks like. And when you get this uh, application downloaded, it's going to um, allow you to play these games right here on your Galaxy device. And these games do work and everything works smoothly for me. So once you actually have this downloaded, the next thing that you're going to want to do is actually go and download some games. And so what you're going to want to do is open up the web browser and just go straight to Google and just search GameCube ROMs. And when you download these, they might be inside of a zip folder or like a 7Z folder. It's going to have like a file name for it. The actual game file is going to have a different ending. It's going to end in .iso. But when you download them from different websites and just pick any of these websites, just find one that you like. Um, and anyways, once you get the game actually downloaded, it's going to be either in a zip file or like I said, a 7Z. If you open up the My Files application, you can actually just go ahead and extract it and you don't need any third party applications. However, if you're not using a Z Fold 3, you can go to the Play Store and just search for a 7Z unzipper and you'll be able to actually um, get the file extracted and go ahead and um, put it into a folder that's on your device so that you can go ahead and access it quickly. So I'll show you where I actually keep my folders, where I keep my games on my device. So here I actually have a folder in my internal storage on my Z Fold and I actually just have all these different ones. But for my GameCube, I actually just went ahead and put them all inside of here. So you can do a similar setup if you're curious of where you want to put it. Because when you open up the Dolphin emulator, it's going to ask you what folder do you want to pull from. And so from there, you can just have it pull from uh, internal emulator games and you can have a GameCube folder. And you can also just have a Wii folder. I haven't made a Wii one because I've mostly just been playing GameCube games. <laughs> but if you go ahead and just create this kind of a folder set up like this, it doesn't have to be like this. I'm just giving you an example. You can go ahead and have all of your stuff set up. And you see that ending that I was telling you about, the .iso? That's what it's going to look like after you extract the file. Okay, so let's jump over to the Dolphin emulator and go ahead and start up a game. Okay, so now that I'm inside of the Dolphin emulator app, I went ahead and connected it to my uh, GameStar Bluetooth controller. And if you want to configure your buttons, just hit the gear and then touch GameCube input, hit emulate it here. And then you can go ahead and pick which one. So like for the A button here, just go ahead and press the A button over here and it's going to bind that button to it. Once you get all of these done, just gotta hit save. You don't actually have to use a controller with this. You can of course just use touch controls, but if you want to get more accuracy, of course, you're gonna want a Bluetooth controller to use with this. Now you can use an Xbox controller, or PlayStation. It doesn't really matter, it just needs to be a Bluetooth controller, and you'll be good to go when it comes to playing these games up here. So this one here is Zelda Wind Waker. Played this a lot as a kid. <laughs> this is a classic. Let's see just how smoothly it actually works.
<laughs> he scared the bejesus out of me just now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just about to get four. Oh, okay, I got a lot of work to do on Mario Kart. <laughs> but, as you can see, it still plays good. Screw you, Wario. And your brother, your crooked brother. I never liked either one of y'all. Okay, let's check out another game. So, to quit out. Just, you can kind of like press it back over here and just exit emulation. So let's check out a different one. Let's go into The Legend of Zelda. This one is high graphics, so it'll be good to see how well this one actually plays right here on the emulator. You see this crease here on film? When the video's playing, that really disappears. And another thing that you can change, you see how this isn't taking up a little bit of the full display? If you kind of swipe over here and go to settings, you should be able to go to, let's see, is it graphic settings, aspect ratio, stretch to window and see, does that one give it to us? Yep, there you go. Now it's taking up the full display. And you already know that it's not taking up the whole thing because guess what? Oh, you already know that's going to fit it perfectly because we saw that this is the aspect ratio. So this just looks fantastic. Oops. Actually. Okay, Zelda's finally loaded up here. Now let's just see how smoothly things play up here. I'm gonna tell on myself a little bit because I remember when this game first came out. <laughs> That's how old I am. 
There's a vibration too, so whenever you're playing, there is a vibration here. The other thing I like is when as you're galloping right here, like um, on your horse, it's going to be actual vibration. So you're going to get all of the haptic feedbacks when you use this emulator too, which makes it really cool. Because right now, every time she gallops, <laughs> there's just like this nice um, haptic feedback. So this is amazing. And of course, because you have a Galaxy, the best thing that you can do too, other than playing it on this big canvas, see a regular display like the S21 or any of your other rectangular any of your other rectangular candy bar style phones you're not going to get this display like this but this all of these games are going to look great on the z Fold 3 but the other thing that you could do is hook it up to samsung decks so let's go ahead and see what that looks like i'm going to save the game here let's go ahead and plug it up to samsung decks just to see how much further you can even take your gameplay so i'm going to go ahead and switch over to samsung deck so you can see what this looks like now I think I showed you in the guys another video, but just in case you haven't seen that one, you're just going to need an HDMI to USB-C cord to use Samsung DeX. So can I focus this? There we go. So this is going to plug into your device and then you're going to get an HDMI cord. It's going to plug in here. And of course, the other end goes to your TV. All right, I got everything hooked up. So this is the game running on Samsung DeX and I still have the same Bluetooth controller hooked up to it. Um, you don't actually have to use this cord, by the way. Um, you can always do wireless decks. I just kind of prefer to plug it in for higher graphic games. I just feel like I don't have to be concerned about latency at all. So I just prefer to plug it up with an HDMI. But let's go ahead and get the game started. I'm going to have to get something to hold this phone so I can play. <clears throat> but I just wanted to show you what the quality was like actually um, playing it here. But as you can see, everything works. I'm playing this one-handed, so. <laughs> Let's see here. Proof that Zelda can be played with one hand. <laughs> and I do have the volume going through my speakers. I got a pretty old set of speakers here. I'm gonna cut the volume up. But the volume will come right through your um, speakers on your TV or whatever. Surround sound you have hooked up. And yeah, let me cut the light off here. Look at that. And you can play this entire game right on the decks, right on the big screen TV. This is a, this is, <laughs> I can't even get my words. This gets me so excited. This is so cool because of course the display looks great on a Z Fold 3, but the fact that you can just plug it in and play it full screen is so freaking cool. And don't forget that you can also use wireless decks. So if you was to hook this up to um, like your Fire Stick or you used to hook this up to your Roku, you can actually play decks in wireless mode. And again, I'm playing this on the same Bluetooth controller that I had uh, the phone sitting in before. So anyways, Check out this Dolphin emulator. It's very cool. I think it's completely worth it. And these old school games are going to... Anything old school is going to look great on the Z Fold 3. Um, but just to say, <laughs> um, it's really, really amazing that you can do this kind of stuff. So check it out. Dolphin emulator. Go on Google. Just type in GameCube um, ROMs and or Wii ROMs, whichever ones that you're looking for. And just go ahead and grab it. And... And yeah, you can go ahead and get playing some of your favorite games right here on your display. And yeah, have fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.